What's up guys? This is a bonus video um, about the twin flame journey and the astrological influence that's happening right now, impacting our lives, impacting our journeys, especially those who are truly um, focused on balance and truly on the twin flame journey of divine alignment and connections and partnership. The, there has been heavy astrological influence in our lives. I started noticing it during Leo season. Sometimes we think Mercury retrograde and sometimes we're not affected and sometimes we are. But if you're on this wave, if you're on this next group of people who are about to come into union and if you truly resonate with this video you should be coming into union between leap and libra season and not just libra as the horoscope dates but libra when venus goes into libra um venus goes into libra september 14th 8 43 p.m um yeah so around that time, and, and also something else, Mars entered Libra's on October 3rd. So, you know, Mars resonates with masculine energy. So September, October time frame, you should be coming into union if you resonate with this. And if you're a part of this group who's been heavily impacted by astrological influence, let me explain. Before I explain, though, let me, this video has been brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty. You can find it on Amazon. Search Ashley Gillard. My name is spelled just like it's spelled on this channel. G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. Ashley, S-H-L-E-Y. On Amazon, and it will take you straight to it. I highly recommend any of my books. They're all good reads, and they're very informative, leading you to more light and more life. Now, back to the video. So, again, during Leo season, so many things were going on that impacted our lives. We had Mercury retrograding in Leo. Mercury resonates not only with technology and communication, it also resonates with the magician. So, it also resonates with the sun and Mars, mass, pure masculine energy as it pertains to Leo. When Mercury was in Leo, it retrograded. If you resonate with this, if you're part of this group, that means that you... You might have moved. Your structure, your foundation was heavily tested. And you may have experienced a tower moment in it as well, meaning you may have been pushed to move. You may have been, um, your foundation, maybe you, a job taken away from you. So many things were testing your foundation and changing the structure of your foundation. Why? Because the Magus was, and when I say the Magus, I mean Mercury, retrograded in Leo retrograded in the sun, retrograded in that that solid manifestation foundation that you've already had, testing you. Why? Making room for change. And I pulled some cards too to help me with this video because the reason why this happened, the first thing came out, you know the strength card resonates with Leo, is the devil. You have karmic attachments. Karmic attachments does not always mean a person. Karmic attachments could be complacency. Demonic attachments, and I'm not calling the karmics that you were in a relationship demonic. I'm not saying that. But codependencies that were not healthy for you. That could have been whatever it was. Your situation, your home life, your work life was a, a, a tool of the devil because it was using to keep you complacent. And if you were going to come into union, those complacencies keep you from being properly balanced in order to prepare for one unification of the dualities of yourself, your own masculine and feminine energies, to be one with God. And then the partnership to both be one with God and to be one with each other and come together. So there were codependencies getting in the way of this partnership. So during Leo season, when it retrograded, it tested that foundation and took some of those things and shook some of those things up so that it can, you you know, it may have hurt. It hurt the hell out of me. I'm in a whole different state. I'm in Louisiana now. It really hurts. But it was keeping me complacent, keeping me from being balanced and where I was supposed to be. And I know this is because we have the Knight of Wands here clarified by the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. In action, the Knight of Wands is about fiery action. But in this case, it was in action with the Four of Swords keeping us from union in the Four of Wands. We were resting on the things that were making us passionate. We were not, and we may not even been cognizant of the things that we were doing, but some of the things we were doing were keeping us from being balanced, keeping us from um, focused on our masculine energy and put the energy required to manifest our goals and dreams. And if you were heavily 
imbalance on the masculine side that could also mean that on the feminine side you are not in tune spiritually enough to manifest union unification of the dualities of yourself to move forward in life as well so what leo season did for us and leo season leo is still in mercury right now coming back right now until august 29th is when leo is still in mercury you should be redeveloping your foundation re getting back into balance of your energies more so than you were before oh that scared me <laughs> hmm Anyway, so you should be rebalancing whatever imbalance you had. You should be getting back together now because spirit shook your life up. The cosmos shook it up to the point where now you have to rebuild yourself and you're no longer complacent. You're getting back into the groove of balancing your dualities. A lot of people were not doing the work that they were supposed to do because they were too much in their minds. You know, anxiety, fear... Thoughts of failure, rejection. It was keeping you from success and keeping you from this offer. Keeping you from doing the things you were created to. Keeping you from success and holding back your partnership. When you hold yourself back, you hold the partnership back. So some people were just in their minds. And it took Mercury Retrograde and Leo to get us back on track, even if it hurt. And it hurt a lot of people. I, I noticed a lot of us felt this energy. Then we have the Five of Cups. And um, the Emperor and Justice. Focus on, this is just repeating the message. Focus on the wrong stuff. Focus on the, thing, the opportunities that failed instead of the opportunities that were going well. And this was a person heavily imbalanced in their masculine energy. We have the Emperor and the Justice here. Implying that you were imbalanced. You weren't putting in the work because um, you were too focused on the things that didn't work out instead of the opportunities afforded to you. Then this is when things are coming for a turn. So what I, I was just talking about Libra season. And when I say Libra season is when Venus enters Libra September 14th. And we have Mars entering Libra October 3rd. We know Mars resonates with the Emperor. Mars re resonates with the Masculine. Expect a breakthrough. A breakthrough bringing you to union during Libra season. This is actually this is unification of the dualities of yourself and your partner. This is the high priestess coming together. Uh, this is coming together with masculine and feminine energies in order to um, manifest this partnership. So the high priestess is resonating with the masculine, knowing who he wants or he or she wants, and coming together with an offer for, with the feminine. But this is clarity of thought. This is spiritually spiritual clarity, uh, mental clarity. This is balanced with the masculine energies as well, coming together through partnership. So expect a lot of partnerships, twin flame partnerships, to come together during Libra season. If you are not a part of this group of people that come together during Libra season, that means something went wrong. You didn't. Right now is the time to find balance. Right now is the time you should be putting your work putting your life back together and putting the energy into balance and if that means you need a solid foundation in your life and mastering your masculine energy that's what you need to be doing if it's spirit awakening you and attuning to spiritual energy and having faith that spirit is working on your behalf as well then that mastering your feminine energy but it's mastering both aspects of yourself right now leading you during Libra season which is going to be here in the blink of an eye September 14th is not too far away expect something to happen between September 14th and after Libra uh, Venus into Libra's October 3rd the masculines I, I'll expect many offers to come through for many people in this collective during Libra season in October time frame especially after October 3rd when Mars enters Libra that's heavily masculine energy entering the sign of love so Mars is the divine masculine energy entering Libra, the sign of love. Expect this to happen. Uh, Venus is the planet of love. Libra and Venus is, that's like double love. Because Libra is connected to Venus as well. Astrologically um, separate from what's happening here. So expect these partnerships to come together. Overall energy, we have temperance and judgment in the Four of Cups. Expect influx and opportunities where you would have to start saying no because you've been focused so much on what's important that you're blessed because of it. Expect a lot of people are going to be blessed. They say um, you got to destroy before you elevate. I got that from a Rick Ross song. <laughs> but it's facts though. Leo season destroyed a lot of things, shook up our foundation because 
It was time for elevation. And in order to elevate, you have to get rid of co complacency, codependencies, and demonic influence holding you back. Things may not even seem demonic to you that may be demonic. You might love the you might love something so much and you're not ready to let this job go because you love it and you become so complacent. But it could be the one thing keeping you from elevation. That's what Leo season was about. Mercury and Leo, Mercury retrograde and Leo was about stripping those things away from us. But some of y'all failed the test because you held on too tightly to things that no longer served you. I'm going to tell you a story. I wanted to um, stay where I was. I was in an apartment. I, I knew it was time to go. So I told the lady, I said, you know, I might, I can't, I don't know if I can renew my lease. They had gave it to me, signed and everything. I don't know if I can renew my lease because I, I, I have to move. If I have a job anywhere else, I'll move. Now, it wasn't about a job, but this is what I'm telling. It was, you know, that's what my mind was at the moment. But spiritually, I know that it wasn't about a job. I knew that was my temporary residence and I was not to be there forever. So... Anyway, I paid my rent later, something like that, um, because I was really bad with my money. I'm not going to lie, I had the money. I just didn't pay it on time. I decided to go shopping or do something stupid. I just really didn't want to pay it anymore. And I told Spirit, I don't want to use the source of income that I have right now to pay rent. I want an additional source of income to pay it. And it manifested because she emailed me and said, you know what? We're not renewing really your lease anyway. Pissed me off, though, because I had not done the work to move. Even though I had emailed her and told her I may not renew my lease, I didn't do the work to move. So it forced me out of a situation that I was comfortable in. And I was, I'm was i a person that, you know, once I'm established in a home, I get comfortable there. I don't like moving because I have to get safety. I have to feel safe and comfortable somewhere else. So it hurt my heart. I broke my heart to have to move this apartment. But I had to do it. Then when I got home, because she told me this when I was out of town, I got home and I realized I had a signed lease. So technically, by law, I could have signed that lease and turned it in and she would have to honor it because it's a legal document. Just like you can't say I want out of my lease um, after you sign it, they can't, you know, you have repercussions for that. You know, they can't take the lease away from you after they sign it. So Spirit gave me the option to choose. Do you turn this lease in? You have a signed lease. You can stay here. Or do you go with the flow, the energetic flow of the universe? You go with spirit and you have, take that leap of faith and you move. I had to go with spirit because I didn't want to take the risk of not trusting and something amazing was happening even if I didn't see it. I had to trust spirit. That's what Leo season is about. That was about. If you remained in a relationship, if you remained in a situation that you were supposed to let go of, spirit literally probably wreaked havoc in your relationship, wreaked havoc in a job, and you just held on to it because you were so scared, because you were in this energy here, you were so scared of what might happen if you let it go. But reality is set. success and love was on the line. If you trust this spirit, if you didn't do it, then maybe you don't resonate with what's about to happen during Libra season for those who took the leap of faith. And I'm not just saying it because I'm a part of the people who took that leap of faith. I'm saying it because it is what it is. It would have required you to trust spirit and let go of this karmic attachment, this codependency that you had. Then we have the Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. This is about balance. And I probably should look up the number 64 as well. But this is about balance and, and appreciation for what you have. This is about, yes, this is what it, I don't have to look it up, a solid foundation. This is about finding balance between the feminine and masculine aspects of yourself to create a solid foundation. And that's what's happening right now. With the Seven of Swords, we're entering the energy of, um, on the Tree of Life, it's victory. It's Necha, Necha, or something like that, how you say it. But it's about overcoming the obstacles um, in the way of your soul's purpose. It's overcoming, let me see, let me say it. It is associated with the soul power to overcome obstacles standing in the way of realizing God's goodness upon creation. And when you're in alignment with your purpose, you are realization of God's goodness upon creation. 
So if you um, were a part of this collective, right now it's about your soul's urge. It's about fighting. It's about being on that horse to the old town road, riding till you can't no more. This is about your soul's urge right now to manifest balance things to your life, to create a solid foundation, to create balance in your finance, to create a solid foundation in your life, to create, uh, get you, to create the beauty of balance, to put you in a position to receive and come together in this partnership and relieve a season. Why? Because it's God's goodness stowed upon the earth. It's God's grace stowed upon the earth, and you're a part of it. Um, so that's the basis of this reading. I could go more, I could say more, but what I want you to take away from this reading is expects powerful changes to happen during Libra season as it pertains to a partnership and offers and coming together with their divine partner. Right now, focus on overcoming the obstacles in the way of balance. So if you are imbalanced masculinely, which I was, I needed to do more work, get out of my ass and stop being so complacent. That means putting your, getting your business plans and orders, your products, services, whatever, career related, getting into the energy of putting in the work. This is about energy. So using most of your, of, of not, of course, remaining to be faithful and things like that or whatever, especially if you heavily imbalanced on a masculine energy, if you've already been putting in the work, it needs to be heavily spiritual and, and praying and meditating and getting, figuring out a way to become one with your spirit energy as well. But if you're like me and you were already into the spiritual energy, then use your masculine energy, start working hard and using your energy to put the work into your projects, your life, your career, whatever it is, just energy. If you're not putting in the energy, that's the enemy. That's a song that's in my mind right now. It's a Nipsey Hussle song. And one of the men, they say, um, when it's time to work, one of the things that is the enemy is not doing the work or something like that. He used different words. It's complacency. It's downtime. You know, that's the enemy. When you're supposed to be heavily in your masculine energy, make sure you're working. Work, 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 work. Don't overwork. Find balance between faith and works. But put that energy into your, your work life and projects so that you can overcome this obstacle in the way of balance and new levels and the obstacle in the way of you receiving from God. This is bigger than you. This is you. This is the light in your life and your partnership, but it's also bigger than you because it's God's grace stowed upon creation. And you are a part, you're an example, especially if you're a part of this twin flame journey. You're an example of God's grace stowed upon creation. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I wish you love, light, and more light. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with as many people as possible that can help them find balance in their, in their lives as well. I really do hope this helps and have a great day.